do a swig of the beverage. I can almost feel the caffeine start to heat up my brain. Turn the left arm, replace the right arm, replace the left leg, the right leg, finally the head. The body was intact for a reason I couldn't, couldn't explain the sense that something had exchanged back in the real world. Isn't that kind of ridiculous locking mechanism is this? What kind of ridiculous Looking mechanism is this even. July 28th, AD 1501. Journey to Edis. It took us from dawn to dusk, but we finally dawned it. Have it down. I'm tired, Father. It is indeed cleverest to investigate this island, there, boy. I've never seen such a gigantic oak. No, I expect to again. But his words shall keep us in business. We can't see for years to come. Look, Father, look at these stones. Do you think there was once a house here? Matters not. Why must you always look at everything? Look what what matters? This is your father? Is something trouble you, father? Where am I? I? Must have shifted to Dark Lord Jim in his vision. Toby! It's a bomb? Oh god, I thought I was all alone. What happened to you? I don't know. After you knocked me out in the room, I woke, woke up and everything was like this. The hotel's room, there's blood everywhere. I saw this horrible man. Tall, thin, long black coat. If you know him, enough to know you're lucky to be alive. Did he notice me so I ran here to hide? How did you get past a doll? What doll? Tell me, what the hell's going on? I told you what would happen if you follow me into the shadows. This isn't your problem. Take these. What are these? Tranquilizer pills. Take one and you'll calm down and the hotel will go back to normal. Don't you need these? I don't need them need to run away anymore. Tell me, wait, where are you going? I know enough now. I know where the wood came from. Perhaps I can find a way to end this. So I was right, the curse wood came from the island. But what cause does that noise do me? Wait a second. I'm going to bounce and read the letter I found I took from one of the rock. So be, I'm very close to ending this. Meet me in the hotel basement. I must show you my discovery. Lengthen. The other, pa oh, the other pages was another one of the religious papers. Book of Victims 1. Yeah. Victim 1, the woodcutter. The first of those again against whom the prince of vengeance was the woodcutter. He who had held the power. The axe that felled the tree. The prince came to his and his son and struck the woodcutter down. The woodcutter knew the name of the king. The prince turned to the woodcutter's son and he said, You shall let live, for you are young and you are of the innocent, that you may go among your people and tell them what I will want. 
The woodcutter soon fled and told all of what he saw, but the men of technology are arrogant and his words are were unheeded. Basically, door of a few supports. You appear to be jammed. Seems to lead to some kind of tunnel that gradually expands into a grand cavern. July 28th, 55 BC. Caliphate. The Celtic Druid awaits the return of his friend and colleague Caledon, who brings news of the invasion of, of Agra State by the Roman Sertorius. By Romans. Having fallen out of favour of his fellow Druids, fellows for certain radical beliefs and activities, Caliphate faces his solitude in this remote forest clearing. Prefers not to travel himself. Gadon, do you bring news? The foreigners have landed. They could not be deterred by our sorcery. All is lost. Huh? Certain are you? But they are making their way across the land, eliminating resistance. If a new Altir will be brought within days. And so we come back. Are the great druids bow so easily to the brass foreign power? I do not do not hang head. Yes, my friend, perhaps the activities for which I was at society so I could yes uh, spell an answer. What are you talking about? You know the dealings of my, with the ethereal realm. I know what you claim. There exists some unworldly territory populated by demons and creatures of magic. And that you cover up, have, have somehow communed with these creatures. Come inside, I will explain. What is this madness? In my dealings with you, well, I have learned of many powerful demons and elementals. But there's one spoken only relatively a beast possessing of awesome power. You plan to summon a demon? Or tell them more who strikes to be into the most unflappable creatures I have spoken with. A pain elemental, indeed. The only pain elemental. A ruler of desolate wasteland where nothing, no adventures. Invincible, huge, potent beast that feeds on the agony of others. And today is his day. 
the day when boundaries between realms weaken and his glimpse glimpses our world. To bring him through at that point should be simple. But even if you just summon conjure such a thing, how would you have it? Depend on land, I have much knowledge of the ways of the thing. With correct bindings, any demon can be forced to, to my will. I complete the preparations while I waited for your return. All that remains is the summoning. Captain, it pains me to see you build your house on such nonsense. Be silent and watch. See, you shall see your nonsense soon enough. In this hall of death and by the light of live by those gifts, I summon you. I bring you gifts to mark your path. I feed you with pain. I call you with madness. I summon you with the greatest loss. I bind you with your true name. Chesel. By the gods. I reach out to you through the void, Chesel. I command your name, command you by your true name, show yourself. Please stop this, show yourself. It's huge. It's larger than us, but invisible, but Chesel yes, must obey the rules of magic. It is bound, I can command it. No, it's far more powerful than I thought. Jordan, help me! Forgive me. No, Jordan, I beg of you. Don't let it take me alive! Tezo Cause has no use for meat, feeds and pains. It does not kill its prisoners. Yet, Caldas' agony was particularly rare morsel and Jezo. Was sure it would last, ensured it would last. His soul was placed inside an oak, sprouting on the site of his old home to grant his body immortality. For five centuries as the tree grew, he would know torment beyond even his most deprived imaginations. By then his body was warped and his mind long fallen into soulless dementia. He was Chesos, utterly and completely his slave. Toby, Savon, what are you? You were supposed to leave. I couldn't. I just. I bet the professor. He's dead. I know. He was killed by the shadows. Just like they will kill you if you don't get away from here. What is this place? This cave is the center of the reality shift. This stuff is what caught is causing it all. How? To the vessel of the soul of the tall man. The acolyte of Chezo. I come in. Nice to see a friendly face. Amazing, isn't it? Of all the things Sir Roger could have used to murder his son, he chose the idol. Placing the sword Jundafo into the wood alongside Caradas. Infusing that poor, poor child with Chezo's magic, allowing him to come back even more powerful than before. Says it was lucky. Lucky. Chezo had. Had to wait 2,000 years for the opportunity. Opportunity to blend magic and science in a single entity. The opportunity to create the bridge. What are you talking about? The bridge between realms. Over which Chesel will cross into a universe of purified mankind. Our oh, order has already two, 200 years for this prophecy to be fulfilled. You're not the Ministry of Occultism? Who are you? 200 years ago, the Prophet Jack Villarreal founded the Order of Blessed Agonies. Since then, we have groaned and watched and waited. It was only recent years that the events foretold in the Book of Chizzo began to occur. It mentioned John Defoe. It mentioned you. Me? You were the one professor as to guide the good keeper to his destiny. But you didn't finish the job. <laughs> All three aspects of John Devoe had to be destroyed to create the bridge. Body, mind and soul. You only destroyed his body, his mind and soul remain. Had I known this, would he have done that? 
I will dis I will truly disappoint my superiors. There are quite elements I could try to persuade you to join our cause and fulfil your photo duty. Is that why you were helping me? I thought if I guided you through your visions and sold you appropriate passages from our holy books, you understand the prophecy is real. I don't see police would join some insane cult just because you had to be some leaflets. Personally, no. I'm not in the god cross and explosion of ice cold agony. I heard the pitter patter of blood on the rocky floor. The pain, the surprise, my strength I went through immediate unconsciousness. I walked up by myself, sprayed upon the stump, blood still slowly leaking from my wound. In my ancient state of barely move. My limbs refused to respond. I was weak as a newborn. Like when? Oh god, you're awake. I'm afraid you would miss this. What are you doing? I just stuck in the street through in the phone Mariana needed to nudge things along. He needed to connect Chazo to administer his coming. And today will be the opportunity we we have all year to summon the Torah. You want to bring that thing into our world? The sound of which your blessed like leaves and an offering. After you takes your life, you will be grateful to us. And then you will guide us to our destiny. Why can you stop me? What if I'm not dead by the time he gets here? You won't be. No, no, you. Toby, you die in your own terms. We don't wiggly let the life slip away from one measly knife wound. Hush now, Caradaf is coming. Savan, are you there? She's here, but she can't answer you. She has never to deal with this long way. Better go, on the contrary. It's important enough for you to be here. It's part of the victual. Summon the tall man. What possible use could he be to you? You're experiencing flashbacks, I know. You saw his attempt to summon Chesel, yes? I saw he fought quite dramatically. He said our lord could be summoned with a basic demon summoning right. But Chesel is far greater and far more powerful than his rivals. He's a very nearly a god, a titan. So it's going to have some magic and a more complex which is one more or less he. We do not know it, but Torment does. He can guide us and teach us. What does the prophecy say about me? The book of Tesla prophesies the creation of John the the Waif. He states his body, mind, and soul are destroyed in conservation. The bridge between the realms will be created. It also states you were supposed to be the guide to this process. But you but we can expect one or two exactly to prophecy after so long. I call the to the east. I call thee from the south. from the west. Not yet, but I'm pretty close. Rasi flits from realm to realm to let his soul and this madness and we shall bring thee to us.
present thee with blessed agonies, body, mind and soul. Present thee with the guy who failed in his duty, for thee to judge. This concludes the text of the notes found by on the hotel 